Happy anniversary to my beautiful wife of 19 years. It's been a very amazing adventure that we've had. And uh, today has been a good day so far. I had some lunch with her, ate some good Thai food. And uh, definitely here's many more years with Brandy. Time, time to warm up. Time to hit the road, let's go. Alright guys, just got done with my tempo run of five and a half miles at 47 minutes and 12 seconds. I'm not sure what the average is, but it is uh, definitely a little slower probably than last time. Uh, my heart rate was a little higher, about 10 beats faster. I think it was like 146 last time, it was about 156, 157 on my heart rate. So definitely a little warmer. And so right now I'm doing just a, a cool down walk jog, uh, just because it's nice and nice and hot. <laughs> uh, it's getting hot already. I think it's supposed to get close to 100 today. We're gonna see tri triple digits. So I'm probably gonna have to run a little earlier, um, you know, at least before eight or so each morning, just to kind of help out with the the heat there. Uh, uh, making sure I got plenty of water and electrolytes and all that stuff. So. Uh, that way I'm not uh, getting too hot. Let me know where you're from. Uh, is it hot uh, like this or is it nice and cool? Uh, uh, just let me know so that way if it is nice and cool we can all be jealous. <laughs> uh, kind of like last week was cool. It was like highs in the 80s, lows in the 60s. It was really nice uh, for an August anyway. So definitely this is typical August weather here in Arkansas. Nice hot and humid weather. Uh, and hopefully it won't last too long. Usually like in September or so it starts to cool off. Uh, definitely in October it'll cool off there. All right guys, got done with my uh, tempo run and my one mile recovery run. And so my goal with the tempo run is kind of like I did practice that during my uh, base building program. And so what I like to do is uh, each week I'm gonna increase that by 10% and trying to keep the same pace, at least, you know, 30 seconds uh, behind my race pace and occasionally doing some strides that are uh, race pace and faster. And that way I'm getting used to used to that pace. And uh, then also long runs. And so I like from the kind of almost meet a, at a crossroads. So that way I'm building up speed and endurance and then I'm building up that aerobic engine. And so they'll kind of meet at a perpendicular there and then hopefully that will result into some speed and endurance at the same time so that way I'm uh, you know I'm, I'm doing some speed work a little bit shorter distances to get the legs turned over but also need a little bit longer duration uh, type of speed work and that's what the tempo days are meant for is try to get that lactate threshold where I feel that burn but I'm not having to stop because I'm sprinting really fast and so uh, that's what it is and here in Arkansas we got a lot of hills so definitely that does make it a little bit more difficult because it's not a straight shot so sometimes my times might be a little off just because it's either hot or I'm climbing a big hill there and again the race is a um, hilly race so that's what I'm prepared for is try to run up these uh, big hills there uh, uh, at a decent pace and hopefully that will result into the times that I want, or, or as well as a finish, or a strong finish. That's what we want, it's a strong finish. 
and to be healthy at the end there. And so this concludes today's vlog. And so if you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe and ding that bell so you don't miss any other videos. And hope everyone keeps safe, keep running, and we'll see you next time.